Hi, my name's Cody Klein. I'm the Vice President of GW Mechanical in Casper, Wyoming, and I'm here to talk about the DTVs. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Wyoming Life Resource Center in Lander, Wyoming, um, where I installed 14 DTVs for commercial dishwashers. Um, so it's a healthcare facility. It's 14 buildings, separate buildings, um, and where we use the uh, the drain tempering valves is uh, all the all the buildings have commercial dishwashers, um, and they're all the ones that fit underneath counters. And we have very limited space, so um, all of them are installed in cabinetry, basically underneath the kitchen sinks. So we have all I think. Well, what was funny is when the job started, every every cottage was supposed to have two dishwashers, but they they slowly found out they couldn't fit two of them in the counter space. They did, so they they went down to one. So each cottage was I was actually supposed to have two two valves on, but that we went down to one. So there's there's about 14 valves installed. Well, 12 installed, three two more buildings left to go. But we had used it on, on another application before that, and we liked it because in this instance, you, you can you can modify the piping to work for this application. And since these units are so small and we had to fit under a counter in a very limited space, um, I, I, I think that's the reason why they were chosen by the engineer. But I would have I would have tried to choose them anyways because it would have been the right right application because of space requirements. I believe the dishwashers discharge at 180, um, and I think what I think it I think it cools it down to at least 120, I believe. And I know we're discharging I know we're discharging into PVC, so um, that would probably have been the whole reason why that why, why that was chosen is because we are discharging into a PVC underground. Um, in this specific job, it, it just it, it sped up the process because of its size and adaptability to that to that space. It just it made it easy because other than that, the only other way I know is a drain cooler. And obviously, drain coolers are big, bulky. You need space to put them in, and there's there's more requirements for for what your needs are to get that into those spaces. Uh, just, just once again, size-wise and si simplicity. Um, you know, drain coolers. You have you have a electric solenoid valve that's going to let the domestic cold water come in. You have another domestic cold water line you have to run. I mean, just when it comes down to space and and the fact that it's it's not it's it's mechanical, but it's not. There's really no moving part to go bad on it. I mean, that's nice. You don't have to, there's nothing really to maintain. I mean, it, it, it functions really well. I mean, it, it seems to react pretty quick once the once the water hits it. And I mean, it cools down the water really quick. I actually had a chance to talk to an engineer. He's a local engineer and he had an issue with a commercial kitchen. And was wondering how to how to deal with it, and and I I did recommend the product. Um, I just said for space requirements and and for functionality, I said they were they were great. 